Some ghost stories, no matter how unbelievable, are just too good to pass up. By the crosses? The unusual tale of a legendary lawman, a psychic in England, a small town of South Dakota. 10.45 at night, Sunday, we were at the Mount Moriah Cemetery in Deadwood. Tall trees block the view from his old bones, but Teddy and he still meet in the afterlife. I shine my filming light up into the area where we would be climbing, and I see the eyes of the mountain lion looking at me. Do you remember this theme song? I'm sure you do. I remember when I was a kid that this song would start to play in the living room, and everyone would be quiet and listen because they knew Robert Stack was going to tell them about some strange disappearance, Bigfoot, or some unbelievable ghost story. On December 2nd, 1992, Unsolved Mysteries aired an episode that I would never forget. It was about the ghost of a sheriff in Deadwood, South Dakota that later opened a hotel and now to this day still haunts it. Many paranormal investigators, YouTubers, and even the TV show Ghost Adventures have flocked to this small town to investigate this haunted hotel. However, it was something said during this episode that made me think that they had it all wrong. A psychic that had been in contact with the ghost of Seth Bullock was asked a test question about what could be seen from Seth Bullock's grave. And the psychic replied with this. Because of the skepticism, I would like to pose to you a test question. Who was the well-known person who was a close friend of Seth Bullock's? And how is Bullock's grave positioned in relation to that friendship? He said, Tall trees block the view from his old bones, but Teddy and he still meet in the afterlife. And I said, whoa. <laughs> and I still get goose pimples when I think about that. Rena believes the message referred to a stand of pine trees, which now obstructs the view of Theodore Roosevelt's monument from Seth Bullock's gravesite. It was a story that was not well known. And I, I, and there was no way Sandy Bullock sitting in Dorset, England could have researched this. I mean, it's just not possible. Now this response is easy to look over. However, to me, it stuck out as proof that the ghost of Sheriff Seth Bullock wasn't just haunting his hotel and that his grave is where you would find his ghost. So this led us to Deadwood, South Dakota, to the Mount Moriah Cemetery. And unfortunately, our first night didn't go quite as planned. It's 10.45 at night, Sunday. I'm not sure exact date right the second, but we were at the Mount Moriah Cemetery in Deadwood. We get about halfway up the trail and realize that I had forgotten the water. So I go back down the trail and there just happened to be people there that were cleaning the area, the front entrance. I talked to Cassie. I was going to go back and get the water, and I left her there. I want to film you for a second. Left her there. I asked if she wanted a light. She said no. She got a light on her phone. Well, I talked to the people there. I asked if I could film there. They said we could film. That's not a problem. They asked where exactly we were going. And I said the Seth Bullock um, gravesite. They said, that's fine, just watch out for the mountain lion. And I said, oh, there's been reports of a mountain lion. And they said, yeah, well, a couple times last year, but once this year. So just be aware. And I said, what do I do in case of this mountain lion? And they said, make yourself big. I said, what do I look out for? And they said, snapping twigs. So... Cassie had been standing up there by herself this entire time. And I think, well, I better hurry my ass up there. Just in case, you know. I shine my filming light, which is actually very bright, up into the area where we would be climbing. 
and I see the eyes of the mountain lion looking at me. It turns its head and I can very much tell that it is the mountain lion. And at this point, Cassie is still halfway up the trail by herself. So I'm yelling for her to come back and I tell her, well, we're coming back possibly tomorrow because we're not doing it tonight. She asked why, I said, mountain lion. I explained what's happening. She says, I heard some spooky stuff up there by myself. I said, I explained to her what they told me about this listen for twig snapping, and she said, that's what I heard. So, so like right now, we're just a little bit shaken up. Um, we're not filming at night. That was going to be the plan. We're going to go up there at night. I can handle ghosts. I can't handle a mountain lion. After this, we decided the best chance we had not to be attacked by a mountain lion was to go during the day. I had one specific question to ask, and Sheriff Seth Bullock did not disappoint. I would have been doing this video at night, but as you heard, I'm sure I've talked about it already at the beginning of this video. I encountered a mountain lion last or the other night on my way up here, but Seth Bullock is here. I'm here. I brought my spirit box and I thought we could ask him a few questions. Okay. Seth, this is a device that will help me talk to you. Are you here? Do you and uh, Teddy Roosevelt ever still see each other in the afterlife? What was that? By the crosses? I am satisfied with the response I got, and I am now convinced more than ever that his grave is in fact haunted. I asked more questions and got more responses. However, for some reason, the camera that I was using, that I know for a fact had a full battery, kept dying. I wish this video could be longer, but my battery's gonna die, so thank you for watching, and I appreciate it. If you ever get the chance, do come up here. Special thanks to Cassie Olinger, Video Creep, Mutant Theater, Lily Spellman, Ghost Tracers, and New Hey Ya for all retweeting my last video tweet. If you would like to be featured at the end of one of my videos, just retweet this video and I'll put you at the end of my next one. Also, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Well, we made it. Okay, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna tell you my name, and if you can, I'd like you to tell me my name back. My name is Bert. Did you hear that? Okay, so we're on the way back to the car from the Gitchy Manitoba cabin where the kids were murdered. And we keep hearing screams.